guys. I'm very uh, happy that you're still checking out the course. It's very important you get the ideal gases in pure substances and hopefully you're not that desperate to go directly to the first law of thermodynamics and be patient enough to know how to model pure substances, especially in gases, which we are analyzing right now. We're going to see this virial equation and something about the eccentric factor. Actually, before actually going to the virial equation, I wanted to explain you what's the eccentric factor, which is this omega here. Essentially, it's just a correction factor for gases due to the shape of the molecules, and it was proposed by K.S. Pitzer. By definition, all spheric molecules have zero eccentric factor, so you can imagine that if you have a huge stuff like this, it will be relatively high. If it's a cube or so, you may calculate. And the good thing is that this guy, Pitzer, got this formula. So instead of just imagining the uh, molecule and knowing the geometry, he got that the eccentric factor equals minus one, which at the same time is uh, subtracted from this natural, or actually it's uh, 10 or logarithm, uh, base 10, of that saturated reduced pressure. This is pretty important is the reduced pressure of that saturation, okay? And, yeah, essentially, you need to know it at the reduced temperature of 0.7. So, essentially, PR equals the actual pressure you're having there and the critical pressure. So, you need to know critical pressure and the pressure you will have at this point right here, which is 0.7. So, you need to have knowledge of the equilibrium. So, one other uh, thing you could use, which I actually prefer, is you may calculate this with C0 and C1 values. So, uh, well, this is a little bit more exact, I think, and it's easier to get. So, you have it here. Or you may even look it for uh, tables, like here. If you want to find out the one of helium, here. By definition, all these gases, neon, krypton, krypton, neon, wait, helium. I don't know why helium is not included, but all the noble gases have a zero value by definition. And yeah, essentially that's the eccentric factor. Let's do an exercise on the eccentric factor. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.